Good morning, everybody. Uh, this is uh, about 6.45 uh, or 6.35, I'm not exactly sure. In the morning, Wednesday morning, on uh, in the month of February. It's a beautiful place, beautiful mountains. The sun is, is going to come out soon. And we are here about 6.45 to capture the early sunrise. Uh, Yetabon is a beautiful place. We are at the foothills of the Rift Valley. This is where the Rift Valley, the Rift Valley begins. So basically it starts here, goes through the mountain, and uh, uh, goes into uh, west of Shashamani uh, and uh, into uh, Arbanj and uh, on to Kenya and uh, however far it goes from there. So Rift Valley is where it begins from right here. Thank you. This is about seven o'clock in the morning. We are here up at the mountain where there's a nice Orthodox church. Downhill, you can see where Butajira is. To the back of me where the sun is coming out is exactly where Butajira is. To the east of that is where Yetabon and uh, the mission is. This is 0700, uh, beautiful morning. Uh, sometimes the sun comes out a little bit earlier, about 6.35, 6.40. Today, uh, nothing, sun has not come out completely yet at seven o'clock. So it's 7 a.m. in Ethiopia. This is the retaining wall they just built to make sure that the mountain here on this side is uh, staying where it's supposed to stay. Uh, it's very strong and uh, they really invested a lot of love and a lot of energy into building this beautiful Orthodox church. It's just magnificent. It's beautiful. It needs some little finishing here and there. But other than that, the church is very nice. Seven fifteen in the morning. It's pretty quiet. We haven't seen any farmers. Uh, nobody woke up yet. Uh, when I'm thinking about farmers in other countries, at seven fifteen, uh, we haven't seen a soul yet. Well, hopefully, somebody will wake up soon. Thank you.
Good morning. This is uh, grade one. They have, uh, it's about 8.20 now in the morning and they're starting to go to school. As you can see, these kids are extremely disciplined. They were just singing a song about going to school. So they said that it's better to get up and to go to school if you want to get a better life than eat honey and milk. You have to be able to go to school, but you get up in the morning and learn how to fly an airplane. And he talks about how we get up in the morning, go to school, so we can save lives and become doctors. These are beautiful children. This is the kind of work that uh, Project Mercy is doing. We are grateful for all the supporters and the things that you do to make the children's life better. Thank you. So they have, uh, you know, this is their teacher. What's your name, sir? Huh? Ndale. This his name is Ndale. He's a grade one teacher. And uh, he's telling me that they do five subjects. Uh, math. Science. Uh, science. Amharic. English. And sports activity. So they got five subjects. That's what they do every day, right? Monday to Friday. I'm just going to the so they do five subjects every day. Every day they they, they they learn those five subjects. That's the curriculum for grade one. And he's saying that they are very disciplined kids, very beautiful children. They behave, they listen to instructions, and they are uh, good learners. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, this is uh, the egg. They just boiled it. 290 eggs. So the children get one egg and they get porridge also. These kids are not totally orphans, but they get two meals a day from Project Mercy. So their egg looks like this. This is kind of hot, keeps everything hot and nice. So we close it. 
it like this. Make sure that everything is nice and hot. And here is the porridge. They get a porridge uh, on this. The kids will be coming down here soon. They've been waiting for us so they didn't have breakfast here. Well, it's about 9 o'clock now. Uh, they usually eat around 8 45. So we're going to see that. Okay, so we are, uh, the kids are coming. They line up for their breakfast. They usually eat around 8.30. Today they delayed a little bit waiting for us. I hope we didn't make them too hungry. But they are here going in line to their breakfast. They're very excited. So as I said, they get a porridge and then they get one boiled egg. That's their breakfast. And, uh, and then they'll go back to their classes. So, and then they will also get lunch, which is provided by the school. Thank you. Okay, this is the school clinic. This is what the children are being taken care of. If they get sick or anything, they come. Sister Shwaye is here to take care of them. If they get sick, so she was testing those two kids, a boy and a girl. They're getting checked, see if there's anything wrong with them. So the writing there says your wellness matters. So these children are really in good shape being taken care of by a registered nurse. Mm -hmm. Sister is knows a lot about medicine. She has basic medication there. She can dispense a lot of stuff, but for the more serious stuff, she would have to send them to the hospital. But for this one, she's able to take care of them on the minor things that happen around the school. Thank you.
Yes, good morning. This is uh, the Glen C. Charles Hospital. It was built in 2003 and uh, really built in uh, a very wide concept where they got an airflow coming in, an incredible view of the mountain right there, and the air circulates. There's a lot of space to allow for air circulation, and that's a pretty good design for a hospital. This is the way the hospital is designed. It's really a beautiful design. Wide uh, range of uh, open space to give it airflow and circulation. The hospital is located right on the foothills and uh, really uh, a beautiful place. And uh, they do a great job here. And we're happy to, to be able to uh, do a great work there in this interview. Thank you. This is a pharmacy, that's where they supply a lot of the nutrition that is required for the patients. So it's a pharmacy, you have a pharmacy staff. This is the dental department. They don't use it all the time, but whenever the dentist comes from America or other place, uh, the dentists are usually will be doing their work right here. And so for any American dentist who want to volunteer here for a week or two, it's always available for you. And it's so acute as much as they can. Obviously, it's not going to be as great as an American dentistry, but it's going to be something that you're going to like. Thank you. This is a mother and child health care, uh, where the mothers are usually checked, and the child is also checked here by a senior, by a senior, uh, by a senior uh, nurse. The nurse is here. She's working away. And uh, her name is, uh, uh, she's been doing this for a long, long time. She's also a military captain <laughs> and used to work in uh, different hospitals in Andridawa and other places like that. But now she's working here and uh, the mother's getting a blood pressure bed. And uh, I, I think the blood pressure is okay. So she's probably going to take a blood sample and do some more work for her but this are just incredibly beautiful people doing great work for a community that is really don't have, don't have a lot of money and so thanks to the help that uh, good donors are able to provide and subsidize they're able to give medical services thank you this is the lab they do all kinds of work all the machines are uh, the operational. Uh, they do a lot of chemistry analysis, OPD, all kinds of stuff. Uh, I don't exactly know what they do here, but all the machines are working. And uh, let's go to the back and see some more. As uh, the people are working here and doing some more analysis, do some blood work, hematology, parastology, blood chemistry, urine analysis, serology, bacteriology, electrolysis, and blood banking, and semen analysis. It's just a lot of work. All uh, done right here in the lab. You can see she's working hard over there. So we're watching through the microscope to see what is wrong with the situation there. It's fully operational. Uh, some of it is still manual here, where they uh, register the clinical chemistry, the tests and the results. They are uh, really hardworking people. They work hard every day, try to save lives. And uh, we're grateful for that. And uh, we just keep on working. Thank you. So here's the, the laundry uh, where a lot of the washing, the washing is done on this machine. And then they take it out and they put it in the dryer here. Uh, so that's where a lot of the, uh, uh, the cleaning is done so that they, they don't, uh, you know, distribute the disease. So they try to cut everything in a very hygienic and clean way. And so we are here to do the work what they do with Washington Pride. Thank you.
you will tell us a little bit about the school. Okay, uh, this uh, project will see, uh, project will see this college. Uh, these are students of uh, ethnic station workers. They will train for about one year and uh, they started for about uh, one month ago and 11 months revenge. So within uh, the remaining months, we will finish all uh, courses including training programs in order to make them competent in the future. Okay, this is uh, one of the programs. These are uh, for about 35 students. We have also another 25 students in the other class. So Can you tell students. me what, what kind of stuff do they learn here? The subject matter, biology? Okay. Uh, currently, uh, for about one year, they learn more about uh, practical areas in order to make them competent. For example, maternal and child health uh, subjects, environmental health subjects, immunization health subjects, they are more related to their works or their activities in order to perform or help the communities in the future. Are they from all over Ethiopia or are they only from this area? No, they are from uh, especially ones from Southern Nation and Nationalities, from one of or about 66 Australians. We wish you good luck, congratulations, that you're teaching all these young ladies that are going to save a lot of lives. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, these are also students from uh, Project LC, uh, Project LC Science Colleges. They are for, uh, for our children, for students of health education workers. So we will train them for about uh, one year. And they started for about one month ago. And mostly they serve their comments in the current subject areas of like maternal and child health, environmental and sanitation, immunizations, and any other activities in the comments. So they are from, especially from one sort of Iraqism, Southern and Southern National Institute. Thank you. Thank you very much for everything that you do. We're done. Thank you very much. Have a good day. All right, this is the midwifery school. We just came here, arrived about five minutes ago, and this is one of the teachers. He will give us a little bit of explanation of what they're doing. But here they got 15 students who were certified in some form or shape prior to this, but they came for a one more year training to just specifically learn midwifery. As you can see, they are teaching them how to comfort the mother and how to slowly and surely get a healthy baby delivered. So they're using all kinds of instrumentation. This is what the practical training takes place. And the teacher will tell us a little bit more. Okay, uh, they're from Project Mercy Science College in Reference Landers. They are trained for about three years in nursing and they will continue for about one year in the midwifery program. And currently they are doing a practical session in administration in perinatal uh, care. And they will graduate? Ah, they will graduate soon after one year. Cheers. Yes. Well, this is all made possible because of Project Mercy that has changed the life of many people here. Infant mortality obviously has gone down because the children are being delivered in a more humane and more uh, scientific way. So uh, Project Mercy has been able to create a lot of opportunity and make life a little easier for the people in this municipality and this district known as Buragi Zone. And uh, they really, uh, things are getting better and we hope to keep on helping them so that they can do more work. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to go to the hospital and 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 I'm going to go to the hospital and